Here, buddy. Have a look at this. This is an IBM PS2 mouse. My guess would be from probably 1991 to 1993, sometime around then. It's definitely an, old, an oldie. Um, as far as technology goes, anyway. I don't see a date on this thing anywhere. I mean, you have the serial number. Perhaps somebody in the comments, you know, somebody viewing this might know um, a little more about reading these serial numbers and maybe it's a date code. Don't know for sure. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. I found this and a bunch of junk that was getting tossed out. <laughs> um, I used to see these all the time in elementary school. And I was in elementary school from, you know, like 1996 through. 2002. And I'm, I'm, these were common. I used to see these back when I was like in kindergarten and uh, first grade. That was like 1996 and 1997. And I remember the computer lab there having these IBM computers. They weren't running Windows. They were running some flavor of DOS. Um, so I remember seeing these mice. and I was, For so many years I was like, if I get my hands on one just for the heck of it. I was always so um, interested in the buttons on these things. You know, normally your computer mouse has buttons like this, and of course newer mice had the um, had the scroll wheel. That one doesn't have it. And this mouse is also not very ergon ergonomic. It's like not very comfortable in the hands either. It's because <laughs> you got this real. Um, Kind of rough edge around here, whereas you know a mouse like this is rather comfortable to have your hand on. It's not in any way uncomfortable in your palm. Here's another look at the bottom of it. And of course, it's a ball mouse. <laughs> yeah, this is back before. Optical mice were common. Now they did. Now back in I think the 1980s, there were actually a couple of different flavors of wireless mice. Not wireless mice, but yeah, I think I actually did have a wireless mouse that used maybe infrared. And um, I think they did actually have some sort of um, ballless mouse back then. They weren't common. You know, these were the ball mice were mostly common back back in them days. They were infamous for um, you're not working properly once the ball got dirty. You, you always had to keep them clean. There's like inside there. Yeah, of course. It's not one to go back on all the way. I'll, I'll deal with that later. But yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I, mean, I used to remember seeing these in elementary school in the computer lab, and I was like, I always, I always, I've always thought like, I'd like to get my hands on just for the heck of this to collect it. And um, here we go. There's your IBM logo. Come on, camera. You can do it. What's neat is it looks like it doesn't have a whole lot of use on it. There's not really much of any wear on the buttons or anything like that. And um, I can't really say much for the um, the track, the, the ball, but you know, these kinds of mice don't work too well on a smooth surface. They generally work best on the actual mouse pad. Unlike newer mice like this, which as long as they have a surface that you know, you know, it has a surface like this that can actually see. They generally work fine. There's the PS2 cable. Got your IBM logo right there on the um, connector. See you guys. What do you guys think about this? Feel free to leave a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. 
But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.